Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to those who are here for the first time. Today I'm going to be doing a short little traditional sketch of Bane, um, continuing on the vein of the characters from Batman. Um, it's been a little while since I posted a video to the channel, um, probably about a week and a half or so. Just been really busy with work, which is good, and kind of reevaluating exactly what I want to do this year. Um, you know, I'm planning out my schedule and getting everything done. Uh, you know, so I can work a little bit more on my um, on my two children's stories that I'll be um, revealing to you guys. Anyway, we're going to be working traditional today, and I haven't decided if I'm going to translate over into digital or not. Just to show you the kind of process that uh, I do as an illustrator, um, I, the majority of the stuff on my site currently is traditional, just because um, I wanted to really get back into the art of uh, using the traditional. Uh, items um, to draw with, you know, your pencil, your paper, your markers, your paint, um, just because I think in the context of a digital age, it, you rely a lot upon whether it's control Z or Apple Z or whatever, you know, that do over. And I didn't want to do that. I, I really wanted to show, uh, you know, those people in, on the internet that traditional is still alive. It's, it's really a viable way to do your illustrations and it gives a real personal feel to it. As you see, I don't have my glasses on because I, I, I kept going back to my videos and I kept seeing that there's a reflection on the um, on the lens. So although I'm looking at the camera, it's completely blurry. So anyway, if you see kind of a kind of a, a wigged out look, that's what that is. Anyway, um, again, you know, it, I've always I'm always going to say this. Thank you guys for visiting the channel. For those of you here the first time, there's a lot of videos here. Um, there's a lot of uh, videos that show traditional uh, illustration as well as concept art, as well as reviews of digital items. Um, this year, I really have an endeavor to delve into the digital world. Um, also, really keep keep a uh, you know a torch burning for all the traditional means. Okay, so we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna change my sheet of paper here because I had some stuff on it. Today, I'm just like I said, I'm gonna do a really short sketch of Bane. Nothing too difficult, nothing too overly complex. Um, um, like I had said before, I have uh, really been busy um, doing artwork professionally. Um, you know, I like to have a balance of you know, working on stuff for myself and then also doing stuff in the professional realm because, you know, if you're consistently, obviously you want to make money, you got to pay bills and stuff like that. But on the same accord, you always want to be, have some kind of a project. You want to be doing something all the time. And, and the reason for this is if you're not developing something, something, I, I don't know, you know, if it's, I don't care if it's a um if it's a book, you know, if it's a line of shirts, if it's a line of collectibles, maybe you, you know, write poetry, whether you know, I don't I don't know. I don't know what your your deal is. <laughs> um my deal is is I just like, you know, I like to draw. Um I like to draw, I like to create characters. I love doing um you know, illustration work. I love but I, I more or less like to do character work. Um, so, you know, I, I'm always trying to develop, whether it's a story, whether it's a some kind of a, you know, character line or some kind of toys. Or, I don't know. I'm always trying to think, what, 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 how can I, you know, better myself? How is this going to help me in the realm of illustration? And how is it going to, you know, help me? better myself to where I'm not consistently relying upon somebody else to pay my bills. And, and, and that's a weird statement because, you know, at the end of the day, we're the ones that are, you know, I'm the one that's doing the work. However, you know, I'm, I'm consistently having to rely upon somebody to process the invoice, you know, that I submit and, and, and stuff like that. So I, I, I want to be able to have a little bit more control over, you know, the money that I make. Um, and because, you know, whether you realize it or not, money is, is freedom, you know, money is freedom. And I've said that, you know, many, many times, you know, we treat money as a tool and 
if you look at it as a tool and you you make it work for you, then you'll be able to have a little bit more freedom to do what you want. You know, not buy stuff. I'm not here to say, you know, make more money, buy more stuff, because that's kind of idiotic. You know, you buy more stuff. Why are you buying more stuff? Is it is it going to better you? Is it going to you know you can have a bigger house? Is it going to make you more special? No, it, it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with freedom, and that's what ultimately I'm looking for. So always be working on something, 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 something for yourself. You know, um, so many people on the internet, you know, from Bobby Chu to, to Steven Silver to Will Terry, you know, all these people that I follow on YouTube and on the internet, they're always consistently saying, do something for yourself. And that's not being selfish, it's just being real, you know? It's being real. You have to have something that you can call your own, whether it's a book, whether it's a, you know, a line of something, I don't know. So basically what I'm doing right now, if you watch, I am creating the Bane character. So I've got your basic gesture in, you, you know, now, now what I'm doing is I'm working on the forms that I think are going to help the piece as I move forward. You know, very rough, very rough. Just, you know, I'm not here to, to put in all the super, you know, super details. I am merely here right now in this, in this illustration to rough in, keep defining, my composition, keep looking at the gesture and determining if that's the right move, that's the right way to go, you know. I recently watched a, <clears throat> a short tutorial by one of my favorite artists uh, by the name of Aaron Blaze. And, you know, obviously the man's, you know, talented. Obviously he's got a real knack for teaching but he also gives you insight into certain things in terms of drawing that you know only a seasoned professional can give you you know pushing the pose um, Drawing through the lines, you know, creating form, drawing through the forms, um, you know, all these things that, you know, we as, as illustrators and artists basically develop and then, you know, whenever we go through and we, and we start kind of putting all these things into words, I equate it to being a feeling, you know, it feels right. But, you know, people like Aaron have taught so many people and, and you know, I teach as well, but... You know, they have an ability to kind of help you in such a way that, you know, it, you're not fighting it. It kind of, it, it makes things, I don't want to say easy, because, you know, this drawing stuff is never easy, or at least it's not for me. It just helps, you know. Everything helps. <laughs> you know, it, 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 it makes things better. So this hand comes around. So what I'm going to do now, since I've been yapping on here for a few minutes, I'm going to put this on time lapse. And you're going to see me basically refine, 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 define, 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 refine, you know. And eventually, hopefully, I'll come out with a drawing that I'm actually, you know, proud of. So that's what I'm gonna do. So enjoy the process, and we'll see you on the other side.
Okay, so right now I'm at a spot where typically I will go ahead and okay. Then I will go ahead and maybe take a photograph of this and move into the digital realm so I can do a lot of corrections and stuff like that because the anatomy is off in quite a few places and you know, just overall, it's it's not really where I want it to be. And I think that's probably what I'm gonna do here in just a second. Okay, so basically what I'm doing is I decided to go ahead and do a quickened, it's not really time-lapse, I just kind of sped this particular section up. What I'm doing is I'm just, um, you know, I'm fiddling with it. I'm fiddling with my sketch, you know. In my original recording, I, I kind of droned on about what the character was and, and why I decided to do him. And, you know, basically, you know, it, it just came down to me looking at it and going, you know, I've got a lot of other footage that I want to kind of bequeath to you guys. So I just decided to go ahead and do a short little voiceover um, over this really quick section. You guys see me, I'm I'm fiddling with it. You know, I'm looking at the details and I'm kind of, you know, talking and chatting and, and just enjoying the sketch. That's one of the things that I really enjoy about the YouTube universe is um, you can kind of see the process of one particular artist's way of doing things, you know, and, and basically, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm redefining, you know, this particular character and, and sketching and, and playing and just really enjoying the tools and the surface. So. Here in a second, I'm going to drag you guys into the digital world, and you can kind of see um, see the next uh, stage and process of this character. Okay, so basically, what I've done is I've taken a photograph with my um, with my camera at a decent resolution, 12 and a half megapixels, and I've imported it into my program, Clip Studio Paint. So, um, just like Photoshop, Clip Studio Paint has a myriad of tools that are very very easy to use and user-friendly so if you know Photoshop you can very easily go right into Clip Studio Paint works in layers saves as a PSD file has a lot of the same layer um, let's see over here on the right it has a ton of layer um, transparency and techniques over the right hand side so basically what I do is I start on a tonal background um, and I put my sketch over and I go probably about 35 to 40 percent opacity and um, I put a layer on top so basically what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go in and have fun I'm gonna go in and, and you know utilizing the um, the different brushes that are over here on the left hand side um, in the pencil palette now it does have different palettes so you have your pastels, you have your pencils, um, you know, you have all these great watercolor uh, and oil paint um, brushes and India inks. And there's a lot of brushes online that you can really look for. Um, very similar to Photoshop, but what I like about Clip Studio Paint is whereas Photoshop, you know, has a, a expensive, um, you know, it's just expensive. I, I, I'm going to be, you know, pretty frank with you. Photoshop and and because I, I think I pay for the Creative Suite, I pay about thirty something dollars a month, thirty dollars a month. You multiply that out. Now, of course, in the context of you know making money and stuff, it's not really a lot of money. But you know, you buy Clip Studio Paint for forty five bucks, and sometimes it's on sale for fifty. I'm sorry for um you know twenty bucks. It just to me is a is a uh, an option that I like. Um, for doing, you know, my, my artwork. Anyway, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and refine. So there are different brushes to do that. I typically like using the transparent watercolor. And what's nice about this too is you can go in and you can change, um, you know, you can change how the brush reacts with you. And you can do this similar, you know, stuff in Photoshop. But what I like about Clip Studio Paint is just the feeling of it. So what I'm going to do right now, and you're going to watch, is basically I'm going to go back and just start refining and defining the different, um, you know, the, the, the sketch itself. You know, I'm going back and I'm, I'm determining what I want to keep, what I want to edit, 
you know, the expression. I mean, just about everything about the sketch is going to change. Um, you know, I'm not going to get too, like I said, I'm not going to get way uh, involved in this particular sketch just because I'm trying to keep it pretty simplistic um, for you guys. But like I said, what I love about this program is it's just, it's, it's not quote unquote easy to use. It just, it, I was able to pick it up really quickly. Um, whereas Photoshop, I mean, Photoshop took a while. I'm sure some of you guys are like, well, fine, I learned Photoshop in 15 minutes. It was no problem. And well, it took, you know, this ombre a little bit longer to, uh, to conquer that mountain. You know, I can remember being, it, it was so frustrating and I don't know if any of you guys can relate, but I remember being in, in school and we had, you know, projects and they basically threw you and that's the way you're supposed to. They threw us to the dogs per se. It's like, you want to learn how to do digital illustration in Photoshop? Well, here you go. You know, you're going to get on there and most guys hadn't even been on a computer in their entire freaking life. And here we are in front of this, you know, in front of this daunting program and uh, it was like, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. And I got so frustrated. I remember sitting there going, I hate digital. I hate it. I can't stand it. Why in the heck am I going to be doing this anyway? Why would I sit here and spend my time on this stupid, stupid thing when I'm going to be doing, or I'm going to be an animator, or I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be doing, um, you know, traditional illustration. I'm going to be doing pen and pencil. And what I failed to realize is how short-sighted I was in terms of um, my learning curve. I mean, I was in school to learn. I should have sat there and looked at that and gone, man, this is awesome. I get to have the opportunity to sit here and learn all day. I don't have to pay bills and, you know, and, and, and uh, anyway, what I'm trying to basically say was at first digital illustration was very frustrating to me because I didn't have the patience for it. But now that I'm, you know, a little bit older, a little bit wiser, at least a little bit, I really enjoy using the tools. Um, and I just, I like them. <laughs> I like digital illustration. I like the fact that you can, it emulates so well nowadays. I mean, back in the day when Painter was in its infancy, that was pretty much one of the only programs that, that you know, out of the box had an emulation um, very similar to, you know, traditional illustration. Nowadays, Photoshop is great. This is great. You know, you have so many other programs out there that are fantastic and and at the end of the day, guys, you know, they're tools. They're, they're just tools. Look at them as, as what they are, and you won't have any problems. And, and, and basically, you know, have fun with it. So it goes pretty quick if you have that quote-unquote safety net. It's not really a safety net because what I'm basically doing right now is redefining the forms you know, the head, excuse me, the head shape, the, the way I want, you know, the characterization to go, how I think, you know, I want things to be. And I have a specific way I draw and I'm always questioning whether or not that's the most efficient way. I'm always questioning whether or not it's a way that I like, cause I see so many other, you know, the way so many other people draw and I love it so much. Um, I just love seeing how other people solve, you know, problems and, and equations and, and, and drawing situations and, you know, simplification and, and it is a lot of thought. You know, people think, thought for the longest time, oh, artists, you know, they, they don't have the mental capacity to, you know, get out of their own way and basically, you love to draw, so you shouldn't make that much money. Well, in my opinion, that's kind of a joke because the people that have created the world are the creative peoples, you know, the, the inventors, the scientists, and there's always, you know, that artist that not only makes it look good, but also uh, brings it around to what it is as far as usefulness um, in our world. So, that being said, what I'm going to do continuing on this process this particular video yeah, this needs to go down further there we go 
and I'm gonna go ahead and go to time lapse. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so alrighty, enjoy the process. <laughs>
Okay, so what you're seeing right now is just a general color block in of Bane. I'm still in Clip Studio Paint for those of you who are interested. What I'm going to do now, um, just because I want to go ahead and wrap this up and move on to other um, other illustrations, um, I'm just going to go ahead and do some really simple Photoshop, um, some Photoshop uh, items and 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 just kind of to liven up the uh, illustration itself. I never really wanted to get into this particular character um, too deeply in terms of rendering, just because I want to keep these um, these particular illustrations really loose, you know. And and although I want them to be good, I still you know I want them to be loose and lively. So what I'm going to do here, I'm putting just a simple outline. I'm using the rough pencil. Just a simple white outline to kind of have Bane jump off the page a little bit. And I'm not really too concerned if my line work goes over into the character or, you know, if it breaks that plane or whatever. I'm not really concerned about that because at the end of the day, what I'm trying to accomplish is just a generalization of what the character is. Um, you know, I'm kind of distracted here talking to you guys, but... So, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this particular video. If you do, um, please like and subscribe and share. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always looking for comments to respond to. Typically, I can respond to a comment pretty quickly, um, you know, if you have one. Here we go. So, I'm probably going to end up getting rid of, yeah, getting rid of the sketch in the background. Do a little bit of things down here and, and just generally go through and, and, and do some tonality and, and maybe some, um, you know, some different uh, Photoshop items. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drag it over to Photoshop here in just a second. Um, again, I'm going to go back to time lapse just for, um, just for time reasons so I'm not sitting here boring you guys with all of the talk that goes on. But anyway, thank you guys once again, um, of course, and uh, we will definitely see you on the other side. And always remember, draw something every day, even if it's something small, even if you're super busy, you know, take five minutes for yourself, take 10 minutes for yourself, take 20 minutes for yourself, whatever it takes to accomplish your goal you know that's how this whole thing started for me I, I, I always wanted to get into drawing something every day and I kind of gotten away from my traditional way of of drawing and you know I wanted to get back and that's exactly how this whole thing started so anyway all right guys enjoy